we're asked to determine the derivative function given f of x equals cosine of the quotient of one plus e to the two x and one minus e to the three x. Notice how we have a composite function and therefore we'll have to apply the chain rule to find the derivative and also notice how the inner function is a quotient function and therefore we'll let u equal the quotient function. And therefore we can think of the function f of x as just cosine u when determining the derivative. Notice the derivative of cosine u with respect to x is equal to negative sine u times u prime. So if we let u equal the quotient function, notice we do have to find u prime or du dx to apply the chain rule. So let's work on determining u prime. Notice how to find u prime, we will have to apply the quotient rule of differentiation. The denominator of u prime is just the denominator squared or the square of one minus e to the power of three x. In the numerator we have the denominator of the quantity one minus e to the three x times the derivative of the numerator which is the derivative of one plus e to the two x and then minus the numerator of the quantity one plus e to the two x times the derivative of the denominator which is a derivative of one minus e to the three x. Next we find the derivative here and here and then simplify as much as possible. So the denominator is going to remain the same. In the numerator we have the quantity one minus e to the three x and then times the derivative of one plus e to the two x with respect to x which is zero plus e to the power of two x times the derivative of two x, applying the chain rule, which gives us two e to the x times two, or two e to the two x. Then we have minus the quantity one plus e to the two x, times the derivative of one minus e to the power of three x with respect to x, which is zero minus e to the power of three x times the derivative of three x, which is three, giving us negative three e to the three x. And now let's go ahead and distribute in the numerator and simplify as much as possible. The denominator remains the same. Distributing two e to the two x, we have two e to the two x, and then two e to the two x times negative e to the three x. Remember when the bases are the same, we add the exponents. This gives us minus two e to the power of five x. Notice three x plus two x is five x. Next, we distribute negative three e to the three x and then subtract negative three e to the three x times one is just negative three e to the three x, but we are subtracting and therefore we get plus three e to the three x. And for the next product, we have negative three e to the five x, but again, we're subtracting, which gives us plus three e to the five x. Notice how we have two e to the five x terms and therefore we can combine like terms, u prime, is equal to negative two e to the five x plus three e to the five x is one e to the five x or just e to the five x. And then we have plus three e to the three x plus two e to the two x all divided by the square of one minus e to the three x. So again, now we know if we let u equal the quantity one plus e to the two x divided by the quantity one minus e to the three x u prime is equal to, again, e to the power of five x plus three e to the power of three x plus two e to the power of two x all divided by the square of one minus e to the three x. And this is what we need in order to determine f prime of x. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of cosine u with respect to x, which again is equal to negative sine u times u prime, which gives us negative sine of the quantity one plus e to the two x divided by the quantity one minus e to the three x, all times u prime, which we now know is equal to, again, e to the five x, plus three e to the three x, plus two e to the two x, 
all divided by the square of one minus e to the three x. And we'll go ahead and leave the derivative function in this form. I hope you found this helpful.